Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing a doodle crate and I am very excited to open this one. I saw the title and I, it just made me excited. <laughs> so I've decided I should just keep all of these and do it myself and not let my kids do any of them. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings like I'm doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, and hopefully some spiritual insights to help your kids grow closer to Christ, help you grow closer to Christ through your homeschooling experience. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this doodle crate. So this one, it says make your own zipper pulls, which just sounds really cool and fun. It says use stitching and spirelli. <laughs> techniques to design decorative zipper charms. So they like to use a lot of words I just don't know how to say. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like. So you can see on this picture, the zipper pulls right here. So they look, they are cool, they're unique. That's what I like about it, is when I saw a picture of them, I was like, wow, those are really unique. I haven't seen zipper pulls like that with the stitching, so that'll be really fun. So this is the instruction book, and they do usually give a little bit of background in here as well, so they have stitch theory, they might have a few other pages, so they do a really great job, and it's a really detailed book. So in here we have a whole bunch of thread, or floss, I guess, if you cross stitch, that's usually what we call it, but this is cute. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little like push pin thing, just a teeny one, that's super cute. And then we have some little felt pieces and the little lanyards probably to hook them on to your bag. And then there's a couple of needles. They're hard to see, but there's needles in there. And we have some just clear stickers probably to help hold the thread in place so it's not in the way. And then some little templates. I think you can draw them on here beforehand. So then once you start actually doing it on the wood, you already know what you wanna do. And then here is the little wood pieces that they're gonna be stitching. So I'm really excited for my daughter to do this. Honestly, I'm not sure how it will go for her. And we'll just have to see how her fine motor skills are when it comes to doing these kinds of stitching. So I'm gonna let her at it and I'll let you know how it goes. finished her doodle crate and we had a lot of fun doing it and she was able to do a lot more of it than I originally thought with the sewing and the stitching I didn't know how hard it would be so we're gonna hold these up for you and there's three of them that look similar to this there's circles so that's what those look like and then we have the triangle the square and then we have one we left on her backpack so you could kind of see how it works out so this one is a hexagon octagon I'm not really sure right the second but so that one has a really cool star on it. So I liked how there was a variety of designs that she was able to choose from. That was a lot of fun. And they all had different stitchings that you could do. So on this one, she skipped a hole in between the stitching. This one, she went down and up in every single hole. And then these ones, you wrap them around the outside. And it, if you skip different amounts of holes in between, it creates different designs and then you can overlap them on top. So I thought that was just really cool. So one of the things that I wouldn't recommend doing <laughs> that I saw in here was at the beginning, it tells you to take the box and wrap all the string around and cut all the different pieces off. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if that was gonna focus for you, but we tried that with the first two strings. So the strings look like this when you get them. And so you're supposed to just wrap them around and cut all the pieces, I think, so you have everything ready and you have them a good length, but it just ends up getting all knotted up and the string is really hard to keep track of. I feel like it's a lot easier just to leave it like this until you need it. And so that's what we ended up doing with all the rest of them. I just left them on there. And then if you wanna still wrap around the box to see how long you need them, I would just do that as you go instead of doing them all at the beginning like the instructions tell you to do. So that was the only thing that I was not quite sure about. And this craft was pretty quick, huh? Mm -hmm. She took her time, she did it over like three days and just did two of these every single day. But it maybe 15 minutes is all it took her every day and so she was able to spread it out and have fun. And so this has been a little bit different than some of the other crafts we've had 
lately, which was a lot of clay type of work. And so this was just a fun thing to do. And she used this planner a little bit. So over here and right here, she drew out her pictures. So I thought that was a fun addition to, to if you like to plan stuff or just to teach the importance of having an idea of what you wanna do. So I thought that was really great. So what do you think was your favorite part? Sewing. Sewing. Sewing was her favorite part, being able to do the sewing. I think for the most part, she did it all by herself. The only thing was having to thread the needle because that was really hard for her. And then on the back, they just have little stickies. They're like pieces of tape. So you just tape the string down. So that's really great because they can do most of that by themselves. They don't need a lot of help to tie knots. And then they have these nice felt pads that you put on the back of each one to protect your work and then to make it look nice. So I really liked how they did that. What do you think was the hardest part? Uh, trying to get this through the little holes in these circle ones. Yeah, so trying to get the string through the little hole was the hardest part, right? <laughs> Working those fine motor skills. <laughs> but I think we really had a fun time. Did you have a fun time doing this? Yeah, and we're excited to see what next month brings. So please, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye.